Hello and welcome back to Maple Farm and I'll just add an all new Maple Farm. I finally did it, I've updated to a more modern version of the map. Uh, those of you in my Discord know that I spent a little while catching up with everything for a day or two. So uh, yeah, I've just got to run around and show you the fundamentals of what's different. Mainly at the minute, all of our original walls are back. And I'm keeping what we've got. Uh, for some reason, I was missing a patch here, but that's not a problem. I've put a fence in. So, uh, yeah, we are... I'm actually uh, currently a version ahead of what's on ModHub. Cavalier Roy was kind enough to uh, send me the, the latest version that he's been working on. It has the grazing for the cows, so that's a working thing now. That's going to save us. Um, it's got a new uh, light modding in it, so we've got different lighting on the map, it, it looks very nice. And I've got all the changes, obviously, that came in from the versions of the map that I didn't update to. Which means I've got a few changes, and a few things to get used to. Now, I haven't cut this grass, I've put a few textures in here just to make it look like cows are walking about. But they're grazing off it, they are eating the grass. That is a lifesaver. Now when I've reset, we have to put the animals back in, because I didn't bring my animals folder over, I'd forgotten about that. But we have 350, I think we had 352, but we've got 350 animals, um, or cows here. Uh, we've got the baby Holsteins, the uh, medium Holsteins, and the, or the grown Holsteins and the medium sized Holsteins. Um, split sort of pretty much evenly in numbers. Uh, I forgot to put in brown swiss, I just went, yep, we'll have uh, calves, uh, mediums and matures. Matures, sorry. I have took the time to put my bale stacks in here. Uh, I think we're about four or five short, but that's fine. Absolutely fine. I've tried to get all of our fields as they were. Um, but I didn't plant them myself, I, I did it a different way, so there's no tram lines for now. They'll be in next time around, but we might, when we herbicide, we might herbicide with damage on, and we'll put some trams in ourselves that way just to, you know, <laughs> hurt ourselves a little bit. We have our calves over here. I'm sorry, we're going to do a quick run around the map, uh, the map, the farm. We've got 100 calves in here. Uh, I think... These are now a year old. They, they, they were six months, six, seven months old, I think. I couldn't pick six or seven months old, and I didn't want to go back to being complete calves, so they are one year old, a little bit more now because we've gone a month and a half, two months in game. And they are grazing off of this meadow. Amazing. And again, I've just stuck a few textures in. Now that they're grazing, we won't need to cut that. So that's fine. They can. They can do that. Uh, we'll top up. The feeders aren't really going to work now, the robots. They are a little bit of a loss. It's a shame we can't maybe like downgrade to get rid of the robot uh, and make some money, but we then lose the capacity and, and other things. I like that they, they've got the custom grazing all the way around. If we, if we put a, a regular large um, cow pasture in there, They'd only walk in that fence out front. They wouldn't do enough around the side. So we'll, we'll leave it at that. You never know. We might get good enough to uh, fill it up. Around. Around, around we go. Now, I had to take out all of the trees again. So all the trees that we had are gone. And now, I didn't know this was a thing. I don't recall checking it when... Because uh, Cavalier Roy has been kind enough to send me all the updates uh, as he's done them. I've just never updated my map to them. The woodland is gone. There was a, a small woodland here. And uh, I sent him, it was here, I sent him a message saying it's a good job I didn't use this because I thought about it when uh, when we would, had the chipper and we were doing stuff. I thought I might buy that patch of woodland and we'll do a little bit of deforestry there. It's gone. So I'm glad I didn't do that. Not that it would have been like, oh my god, I can't believe you screwed me. But it's just, you know, I would have gone, oh, I wasted my time. But this looks much more open, and I think the terrain has changed. This is definitely a lot steeper 
than what we were working with before. I think this is raised. I think our main farm is raised up a little bit, or this is lower. But yeah, this is definitely a, a steeper terrain. Could be interesting to work with. Some of our smaller tractors. So yeah, that's all gone. I did have to uh, sew the extra bits manually. I did that myself so I could um, do it through of different tools and stuff and whatnot to get the, the grass meadows in and growing. Um, but yeah, the, the bits in between I've done myself. This or dug this all up. That's all gone. Did that. I did that, didn't I? Clever. And our grass meadow over there is purchased. I've brought all of the fields, exactly the same as we had before, except for, if I go in here, field 41. Field 41 has in it uh, sunflowers, I think that is in it, bright yellow sunflowers, yep. Whereas when I came in uh, on a fresh map, 36 had sugar beet in it. They're roughly the same sort of size, if anything, we're a little bit smaller. And it's right next to some of our land, so it sort of fits in with us a little bit better. So that's the field we've got. Instead of 41, we've got 36. We still have this one. I did consider, um, if I come out here, I think one of these initially was a purchase. But then I saw that there and I thought, no, we'll go with that. I thought, well, perhaps it was this one because this one has the B in it. Anyway, yeah, everything else is the same. We'll just pop over to the brewery because obviously I had to build this all again. It's a little bit different, as you can see, but fundamentally the same. It's the same building, same jobs, doing the same thing. We lost our pallets because obviously the pallets were there, but they were empty as they spawned in. And I remember this being here before, and I'm not sure how I got rid of it. But for some reason, I couldn't lower this. I think there's something under the terrain there. I've not looked. But we got it flat last time. I couldn't do it this time. So we've got a small bush in the middle of the car park. It's just a little feature. I'm not going to cry about it. It's there. We can get in and out and do what we want to do. It just adds a little character to it. But over the two months, I haven't been able to get my brewery to produce <laughs> any beer it's full it's got everything it had in it before we'll open up now we're going to go into it you're going to go oh it's because it's not turned on I, I turned everything off so that i could come in today and activate it again and see if it would start producing for us it was running for two months and didn't produce a single bowl not one bowl it's got water wheat barley honey strawberries it's all there, it's all up and running. So hopefully, hopefully we'll get something from it. I'm going to be a bit disappointed if we don't, especially since today was going to be beer money day and we were going to sell. We had like four pallets out front and then two more of each inside. Unfortunately, that's, that's not happening. I have put the, oh, by the way, these trees have changed. We had spruce here before and now we've got the tall pines. That confused me. It's a lot brighter. I think a lot of the trees changed for visibility and performance and stuff like that. I've uh, put our storage of strawberries back in here. I did try and spawn some beer in, but the beer that this produces wasn't available for me to create. I've got this beer, which isn't our beer. I can uh, pick it up. That is sellable, um, but it's not our beer. I spawned it in and it's not it, so it's just sitting over there looking pretty. Right, just go over to the other part and our greenhouse complex. Now this again is a little bit different. Uh, again, although fundamentally the same. We've got our water tower, we've got our little shed, our machines are all exactly the same. As we get in them you'll see that they are the exact same machines as we had. They've got all the hours and everything on them. Our manure pit, which has a little less in it because it was quite excessive when it was like 1.4 million litres or something stupid. We don't have our gate here because There's now a track that leads around. Now, this wasn't here before. This was fenced trees, and we put uh, our own little entranceway in. Since we did that, Cavalier Roy, in his updates, have changed his map and his layout and some of his fields. And there's now a track all the way in. 
So we can still come in off that main road, or you can come in over there. I think it's farmer's market over there, and travel around the fields. I've uh, done this all myself, made it pretty, try to hide it away a little bit. But here we have our greenhouse, our allotments, and this is how we get in and out of here now. We don't spend a lot of time up here. Uh, I did explain a few episodes ago. I'm not sure if that was the poor audio episode, though. But we don't come up here a lot because the jobs that we need to do are usually filling the water up and getting the water from that tower into that tanker takes so long. So long. It's such a slow filling tower and a slow filling tanker. But these are topped up. They've got water. They've got seeds, although they do need some more seeds and some more solid fertilizer. I didn't fill them to the brim because they weren't filled to the brim before we left. But they're ticking over. And I'm not sure how much we've got in storage because they've only been running for the two months rather than sort of three months, I think it would have been. Uh, 118,000 litres of strawberries. So we've still got a fair old amount of strawberries. And I think that's pretty much all we had done ourselves. Now, it's took me a lot of time. I say a lot of time. Yeah, it took me about two days to get all this put back together. So let's head back to the farm, because although we've not got the bear to sell, we do have a fair bit of honey. Our honey pallets came back to the save. I think they came back with the uh, vehicle file, I believe, which is strange, because this vehicles, I think, was the only file I brought back over, because I wanted the same vehicles with the hours, with the wear on. That one's not full, I know. Um... I think two, four, six full pallets of what we had and this partial pallet and then in this short time that we've been up and running, uh, we've done, I think that was going to happen, we've done uh, one and a third or one and a half pallets by the looks of it. So they're on there. We'll go and sell them. Oh yeah, uh, remember the straps. Yeah, we'll go and sell these down by one of the stalls, and we'll uh, get started, believe it or not, on a harvest. We're not going to do crop work or grass work, we've not got no grass to really work with. Some of our grass obviously has grown, because that happens while we're away, or when we reset, sorry. Um, but I'm not going to harvest it straight away, we'll do that later on in a year like we would have done anyway. I'm going to head up to the store because I need to fix my wheel because it's gone really loose. Now by the looks of it, I think this entrance way here has changed a little as well. There's a few spots as I've just driven around that look like they might have changed. So things are a lot more open. I think the tree count has gone down. Uh, quite substantially. Again, helps with performance, so uh, there's absolutely no problem with that. And we're going to sell our honey here, and we're selling the honey just because. Oh, is that? Is the trigger out? Uh, the your trigger's out, mate. Let's see if we can get in. Yeah, we're selling our honey. Um, because we've got nothing else to really sell now. Come on, that last little bit. It's giving us odds and ends. I hate that. It's because I'm aiming for the trigger. Anyway, we are now... So that's at 25... 40... About 45 grand. So we sold... Uh, what we just then got from our... Uh, honey. I've placed my sell all point for when we do do the beer. Do do. Um, so yeah, hopefully that'll work. If, if it doesn't... And for whatever reason, that's not going to work for us. I will remove it and I will replace it and try again. And then if it doesn't work, I have a different brewery mod we can try. Uh, probably requires uh, different uh, ingredients and uh, different, different sort of setup. But we can give that a go because I really want to do the whole brewery thing. I think it's a lovely little side project to go alongside the, uh, the dairy. So hopefully it'll work. And I, and I almost put my pub on. We were going to come back and have a pub. So I'm glad I haven't done that just yet. If our brewery's not going to work. Once I hope we get our brewery going, we'll look into getting a pub on. Well, as you can see, it has started raining. 
so we're not going to be able to harvest our corn now, which is uh, annoying because that was that was our big job for today. And if we go in and have a little look at the weather, it's ten o'clock now. It is due to rain all the way through till five o'clock. It will start to get dark at half past five, six o'clock. So. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're getting a rain. I don't think we're getting a rain. I don't think we're getting a harvest in. So, we need to find some other things to do today. Now, although our cows are grazing, and they've got a bit of feed off that, as you can see, as you can see, I say that a lot, don't I? They've already grazed it all the way down to the shores they can get. So... We are going to need feed for them. I've got nothing to make feed. Oh, that reminds me, we need to get our clam done. I've compacted it. <laughs> I've actually compacted that clam twice now. After the last episode, I compacted it. I spent, you know, as long as it takes to compact a small clam. Sometimes I think it takes longer to do a little than it does to do a lot. It's gone to 99%. It's, it's lost a percentage of compaction. So we're just going to drive over it with something. Let's jump on a tractor. You'll do. You got to wait on. Yeah, so uh, at the end of the last episode, I compact it from, I think it was like 38% all the way up to 100. And I didn't cover it because I was saving it to cover in the, new episode, in the next episode. There we go, compact. And obviously then we reset and I had to fill it again compact it but this time it didn't <laughs> didn't compact as I was filling so I had to compact it all again from 3% <laughs> I spent way too long compacting a mere 300,000 litres of grass just you know that's just not going to be worth it but it will be worth it because it's, it's going to go towards feed because I think all we really need is some hay to go with it oh, it's turning the engine off some hay to go with it and then um, yeah then we've got, our, got ourselves a, a basic uh, feed TMR so uh, yeah we've got we've got straw we'll be able to chuck that in so I think we can still do the base TMR it's just that you can do others as well and we want to be doing others as well we've got a ton of manure um, I did put some more bales in for bedding for both pastures I've been busy, been doing things. Uh, heavily contemplating selling the sheep as well. I did think about just getting rid of that. So we're going to head to the store, by the way. Just in case you wonder what we're doing, we're going to go to the store and we're going to see if we can buy some new Fandango feeds. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank uh, Rusty. I believe it's Rusty FS. Sorry if I got that wrong, mate. Rusty's been great on the last few episodes that I've released, sort of at the start of this um, Maze Plus coming in, I think sort of episode 85, 86, good feedback, lots of help, and um, it's, it's in large, it's, it's reinforcing me thinking and doing what I'm doing, because obviously I'm, I'm trying to get ahead on the schedule, which I don't like doing with this one, but I've said before, I've gone away for a weekend. I need to get some, or well, for nearly a week, uh, I need to get some content on and uploaded. I need to play big catch up on the channel, and we've got new stuff coming out. So I'm a little bit further ahead than I normally would be, but by the time I come back from my uh, long weekend away, I won't be ahead at all. So yeah, he's uh, dropping some good information, uh, really helping out a lot, and some of the stuff, it'll, you know, I say it's not, oh, it'll look like I'm acting on what he said. Not necessarily that, because I'm ahead. I've done some of the things, and I've even said to him, I'm glad you're saying that, because it might have already happened. Some things that he wanted to be done, I've done. Some things that he's hinted at that would help, I'm trying to do. And some things I've found out along the way, but other things I haven't, and I didn't know, and he has given advice. And for that, I am super grateful. Right, in the store, under pallets. If I go to pallets, can we buy... That should be a good uh, tell as to whether our brewery is going to work. Because if we can buy, sorry about all this. I've got so much, so many mods. Um, they're close. We want to see 
the different mm, different aisles aren't there. So whether that mod isn't working and isn't compatible with something now, I don't know. We'll see. We will have to see. Anyway, what we've come for is some of this beautiful Maze Plus stuff. So we've got cracked corn, we've got potato boxes, chicken feed. We should be alright for chicken feed. We've got the wheat, we've got the barley, we're just waiting for the corn and they'll they'll be happy with that. They should start feeding. Then we have horse feed, we don't want that. Uh this is mineral feed. I'm not sure if I even topped up the mineral feed. But what would be good? A sheep? Horse? Can we not buy the TMR? I think we have to take the ingredients. We may have to buy some some standard TMR then. Take that. Sorry, we're going to do this again. Watch your eyes. Does it look like we can buy the different different TMRs? Or oh, hoses and stuff. We'll get there, people. We'll get there. Um, oh, perhaps that's in big bags. We've got... Excuse me. Compost, we don't want that. Horse, cow, chicken, that's mineral feed for everything. That's just for pit cows. Concentrated feed, that's what we want. This is sheep feed, but it's definitely got a cow on it. And is this power food? I think that's cows. That's his, I think that's concentrated feed, and that's concentrated feed for sheep. Yeah, right. It's going to be expensive. How many can we buy? Eight. Or buy 16. I bet that doesn't last long at all. Now I was going to stack them on, as you can see. But I figure, why not just convert it into a trailer and then uh, load it in. So that's what I'm going to do. So it's going to take me a while, but I'm going to get them all in there and then I can just tip it into one uh, feed and then tip it into another and not have to worry about all the bags suddenly doing things I don't want them to do. So uh, this might take me a minute. And there it is, our 16,000 litres. Not a lot, but it will do. Now does we have a cover on this? I thought we did. Or did I not buy the cover? We had a cover for this. Having issues with my uh, coverings again. <laughs> Open close cover. No, it might have been on a different control. Things have changed. Things are different. We'll leave it. I can't leave it. I know it's there. <laughs> uh, what have we got? Nope, that's the window on the uh, on the truck. That is. I can't see it. Anyway, perhaps we did not uh, get one. I forget these things. I always say I forget these things. I'm sure we had it before because it heaped up and it peeked through, or was that something else? That might have been something else, mightn't it? Anywho, we're going to pop a little of this in with the beef stock. It's a shame because we really want the beef stock to do well, but we need the dairy ones to uh, produce us milk money uh, because, well, they didn't. I don't think last month I got any money from them. I think they'd eaten through what little feed I was able to give them. And they munched straight through the grass in the pasture. So we're going to just put a few thousand litres in here. These have do have feed. So there is that. But they're going to need more. And they're going to need more than this. But they can take the concentrate. There we go, they can have six, and I have to put the ten in. They have changed the direction of what they're empties though, so that's a thing. <laughs> I have to remember that. Something like breast has switched that around. 
And I, I keep doing this when I keep coming into this cow pasture. When I want to go into the feet. Oh, look. I, I rolled it, didn't I? Did the compacting. We didn't close it. There we go. We, we need that doing this thing. This, this the whole pressure of uh, looking after the cows. That's that's what's doing it. We may have to find a little contract this afternoon, which is something we haven't done. That's a way of getting some money to feed our cows. We could work for other people, just so uh, we can make sure. I mean, we're not sure we've got money, but we've got other things we want to do. So we want to get into a position where we're comfortable. Now I, I know maybe selling a hundred cows isn't enough. I know, uh, I think Rusty said we want to sell half. But I think we can get there. We, we own enough land. It's just getting on top of it. Once we get on top of it we're good to go and we're going to be rolling in so much money. We'll be able to buy more land. We'll be able to hire workers. Like a proper proper industrial dairy setup with all of our cows that'd be good so let's see how they're doing from in here without me jumping out we've got no roughage so that gave them no roughage need to buy hay bales don't I don't want to keep buying feed that's so annoying And I think I've gone for less chickens. I think we had like maxed out 600 chickens and we've got 360 with some roosters in. I believe it was Comrade asked, why do I have roosters? But we have roosters to get more chicks. Chickens give you eggs. Roosters to grow your head count, surely. Um, the Angus have got a little bit of everything. But they're going to run out of roughage as well. It's just dire, isn't it? <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm still doing the whole throat thing. Yeah. I know, it, may, it may be a case of next time out, if we don't get... No, the grass is going to grow in between months, so if there's no grass there October 1, there's going to be no grass October 2, October 3. That's how that works. Like I say, the grass that comes in as we spawn in, or as we create the game, is there to cut, and we've got a growth stage on the rest of it. So there is a cut there. There is. But would it be cheating if I took it? I mean, if I do it in November, I was going to do a short November cut anyway. That's fine. But to do it now, I think, would be uh, a bit sneaky. A bit too sneaky for me. As much as I want us to do well, and I want to look after our animals, I don't like cheating. <laughs> Not in that sense. Now, our lime and our seeds are filled. We do have some mineral feed. I'm trying to think of what else I wanted to do today. Not having stuff for the chickens is throwing me a little bit. Not the chickens for the cows. I think, I think I'm going to sell this. We're not going to do sheep. Not not at the minute. If we do decide to do sheep, we can put sheep in. We've got plenty of sheep pastures. We can even buy another farm that has sheep on it. There are plenty out there. But I think us having this space and being able to mow that a bit more and bring our grass out a little bit further, that's going to be more beneficial to us now. Hopefully, by the time this comes out, some of you have given a little bit of feedback and you agree with me that that's a good idea and a good way to go. Because I think that's what we're going to have to do. Just for my sanity. Plus, that'll give us money, because I know I'm going to cave in December. Uh, probably even <laughs> before the end of October. I'll cave, and I'll buy a load of bales, and I will buy a load of feed. I mean, I could get another another one of these fill things. 
and just order the feed in. But I think we'd be doing that every day. And selling this could help fund that. Don't you think? Don't you think? Is that not a good idea? We did sheep on eBay. We've done sheep. We were successful at that. I'm going to do it. I'm going to sell it. I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way. I'm going to do it from in here. I could have walked up to it and sold it. We've got mods that allow us to do that sort of thing. Let's stay 200 grand. Alright, so I also need to get rid of all that. Now I think this fence is connected to that lamp post. So we shall go. Now I, th I think the wall might disappear as well. We'll see. The wall may well disappear. If we get rid of the light. Get rid of the post. And that's fine. I don't mind that the wall, the wall is gone. Uh, we didn't have a wall there to start with. And we'd already taken out these trees. So, I think today, the rest of today, it's going to be modifying this. We'll uh, get rid of these trees. You just never know what's going to happen, people. We'll get rid of these trees. I was then thinking, oh, that almost merges that to that, don't we? We do have the path in the middle. Get rid of this bush, trees. We'll keep that hedge row along there. But... If my thinking is right, I can bring up the map and have a little look before we get there. Field 38, our new field, our meadow here. We could cut through and merge that into a big meadow as well. All about that meadow life. <laughs> that could be a thing. If we come through from here, all the jumping about. All the way down to there, straight through. I mean, it'll be a bit of a dog leg of a field if we uh, go into the map. We might have a better look at it. Uh, where are we? Here. Yeah, so it'd come through, down, around. Yeah, a little bit of a dog leg. But I think that'd be fine. No, no different than, say, field 45 or even 91. That is a big one. Again, it doesn't seem a lot. But it's it's extra land. It's, it'll make it easier to work, especially once we open up all this front end. So I think that's what I'm going to do. See, these are things that I thought about doing in preparation for the map. And now we're doing them in-game because we've not got things to do. So it's a good job I saved it. Not got any good trees to get rid of, though. And we have already cut some of these down before. Let's just start by getting rid of the, uh, the bush here. Do that. So anyway, hope you're well in uh, enjoying yourselves. I'm not sure when this comes out. I think when this comes out, I uh, will be on my way back from my little, little time away. Was going to be a a slightly bigger family do. My eldest daughter was going to come with us, but she's uh, got other obligations now, which is fine. She's uh, she's old enough to, she wants 18, uh, but she's got the opportunity to do some uh, extra work and earn some good money um, over the next few weeks with Halloween stuff, so uh, she wants to do that. That's absolutely cool. Cool, cool, cool. Right, I think before we go and lease any equipment, I'm going to cut the trees down as well. Let's get them down and ready to go. And then we'll just get a trailer. So I've already sent back the trailer that we uh, that we'd leased. And we do um, own out what we leased. I think it was the manure spreader. And I think I, I cut that out of a recording, an episode, maybe two episodes ago, um, where we actually finished finished off the leasing for that and paid for it outright. We've used it so much. If I just show you that as well while we're just doing. So it's not in the leasing. And our manure spreader, this is the one. Uh, we'd had it for five months. Uh, we'd put over an hour's work on it. 
Uh, I think it cost us about 70 grand. Maybe a little bit less, I can't remember. But yeah, we, we did that. I think I cut it out because I was mistaken and I thought we were uh, paying to end the leasing of the forage harvester and we weren't, we were paying to end the leasing of that so the conversation I was having made absolutely no sense but we, uh, we have we have brought that out right lease to, uh, lease to purchase fair old bit of wood here now there is a firewood mod not quite like there was before it's a machine now you have to get it in do could give that a little crack maybe or we could just try and load these up onto a trailer and sell them and be done with it well it's now 20 past four it's still raining i've cut all the trees down i've delimbed them took branches off that's what delimbing is and <laughs> i've been and i have leased it's cost two grand i've leased it might seem excessive the flegal timber runner but <laughs> it is excessive but I'm going to keep it for an extra day or two or two whenever it's done it's probably going to get really expensive then I want to take out some of those trees in the corner over there and I want to take out some trees over there so I think we'll get another load on there within the next day or two now I'm going to be naughty and hand all these on because although I've got a wheel loader I've not got anything to uh, put on with a wheel loader and since not everyone likes you doing stuff like that oh, let's get a little bit temperamental I'll uh, I'll come back although they'll know I've done it because I'm still going to do it but I'll, I'll come back once it's all loaded up That's it, that's the last log on. We'll uh, put the straps on just to be safe. We'll stick all of them on once we're in the truck, but I like to do a little bit of that. There we go. And that's really opened that up. Let's uh, j j jump on our little flegel. Our little flegel on our little fear. How much bigger that suddenly looks. And I'm going to probably bring the grass line up to here. So we'll gain some extra meadow. I'll plough it up, we'll have proper meadow all the way up to there. And then in time, like I say, we'll take some of those trees out, some of those trees out, maybe even all of those trees, and take out that, that hedgerow, merge it right through to a nice big meadow. We don't have the gate here anymore. I didn't think we'd need it since in my mind I was always going to do this. I just hope that people agree with it. Right. Let's see where we can sell our wood. Well, our sell everything is the best price, but I don't want to go there. We, we That seems to always have the best price. I um, only really want to use that for beer and anything that we can't sell at regular drops. So I think carpentry is where we're going to go. So they're offering a little bit more. So let's uh, head on out with our, our massive massive load of tree not excessive in the end at all look at that it's perfect for the amount of wood we had I'll I'll, I'll not um, do this big grass I'll put that back as mud like we had before I've not put the fence in there because that's a handy little spot to park our trailer and our truck at the minute people still laugh like I call it a truck it is a truck just because it's not a big old Mac doesn't mean it's not a truck The rain has fine. It's five o'clock. The rain has stopped. Look at our lighting, people. This is um, real lighting. Uh, we're on uh, version, I think, 13. I think it is. Or V1300. It's uh, it's nice. I think the the latest version of Riverview has V12, and the last version of Maple has version 12, which has a little issue with some of the uh, the lamps from what. I'm I'm told I didn't see it, I didn't upgrade to those ones. So hopefully when uh, Maple does 
get its update on console, on console, on mod hub, that the um, the new line comes through as well. It's, it just makes certain parts of the, the year and the day brighter, certain parts are a bit darker. It's just got a, it's got a nicer, softer feel too, I think. I'm going to go in cap because it's just easy to see. That's our barley. That's growing through now. And our barley on the other side as well. I'm, not, I'm going to look over to the right, but I'm not going to worry about looking over to the right to see if a pallet spawns because it was always slow. It was always slow producing. But it should have produced something in the time that it was running, I think, over there at the brewery. I do, I do feel like this is a lot more open than last time. I'm going to go back and watch some old episodes of me driving around and uh, compare the map then to the map now. I think it's a, a lot of uh, a lot of tree, a lot of tree has gone. I think we've lost a lot of trees. Or it's because we've gone for pines rather than the spruce. I think the spruce obviously make it look denser because although they're, they're tall and straight, they're not as tall as the pine then puts all, its, um, all of its pines at the top whereas the spruce is spread out like a Christmas tree. So over here, I believe it's a carpentry we've sold before. Should we clip that wall? Try and swing it round. We should still be able to hit the trigger, I hope. And hopefully it'll sell all of it. Oh no, I just got back in my truck. <laughs> Press the right button, you fool. Oh, we've got one or two that didn't quite go. Six and a half grand. That's all we got. Not a lot of wood in those trees. But I think we had that before there went a lot. 269 quid is what we've got. 269 pounds for that tree. I'm going to skip the whole animation of getting in the truck and doing this. Uh, <laughs> the novelty has worn off already. I love this little old truck, and then the novel animation's all right, but it's so, so bloody slow. I think traffic is turned off. I had no traffic. So yeah, I think that's probably all we're going to be able to do today. We're going to head back to the farm, and maybe look at some stuff. There is one or two bits of equipment I think we can still sell. We're nearly at half a million, so we've got some money, which is good. So if I do feel bad and guilty and need to buy feed all winter long we can it should just be hay if we can get hay well it's only the rest of the feed as well if we can get hay we can get roughage roughage if we get the hay and our grass silage i think we can make a tmr we've got the straw i think we can do it that'll be fine so hopefully tomorrow We'll have no rain, and we can get our harvest done, and then we might uh, get, get rid of some more of them trees. Don't want to have this leased for too long. The usage of it is low, uh, so it shouldn't be too expensive, but it's just that daily charge rather than the hourly usage. I think if I disconnect it from the truck, it'll be okay. I think if it's uh, connected to the truck and the truck is active, engine on. Counted as usage. It's getting dark. So it's going to get dark about six. And then uh, once we've got everything sorted and tidied up uh, around the new, the new large pasture that we're making, we'll uh, then over winter. Hopefully we'll have that done by then. Over winter we'll dig up. We'll uh, plant our new seeds in the ground. Hopefully. I'm sure you can plant that pretty much all year round and they'll just hold. Ah, uh, one of the other new things that I need to be mindful of that wasn't there in my version of uh, of the map that I was running, no lights, standard, is collision on the bush. You know, not full collision on the bush, but on the, on the, on the stump. Whereas before, I could run and drive through that. Not that I ever did drive really through it. Um... But if I got close to it with a vehicle, it didn't matter. Now there's collision 
and in the short time that I spent trying to get this map up to date, I kept smacking into the collision boxes all the time because I'm so used to just getting really close to the bush and not worrying about it. So uh, that's something to be mindful of and something that we can look forward to. So let's just quickly, before I leave, I've got to check on my cows. I've got to do it. No food. No bloody food. It's just... I've eaten it all already. What little? There were 10,000 liters. They, they, they get for about 10... One cow will get for about 10,000 liters a day on its own. I think that's what it works to. I'm sure that's what I was uh, understanding by from um, Sturb Simulations. He started a Maze Plus series on um, Attican Park. Is it how it's pronounced? Attican Park? Attican Park. Uh, a very loose sort of play style just to show off Maze Plus and how he would run it. And I think he only had like 15, 20 cows. <laughs> 15, I think he started with. Anyway, that's it for today. It's not what we were expecting, but we've got stuff done. We've got some money. Um, that's a positive. Our cows are hungry AF. We'll try and address that tomorrow somehow. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you enjoy me working on the newest version of the map rather than a pre-release mod hub version of the map that I've had for 90 episodes now. Um, yeah, if you did, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, find it when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. Let me know what you think about selling the sheep. Let me know what you think about the cow dilemma. I've sold 100. I don't want to sell more. We just need to get that feed in. Come spring, and we'll be smashing it, I'm sure of it. But yeah, let me know. As always, you guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Join the Discord. Link's down in the bottom. We're having a good time there. Find out more stuff. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.